Yes, good luck with that. Now, he's upset quite a few people on the wards of Holby since joining last year. And now, after dispatching his biggest rival, Mrs Beecham, Sinister Surgeon Hanson has wielding all of the power. I do apologise. I didn't realise you were an obstetrician. Do you know what they call you? Oh, it's Henrik. Henrik the Heron, Henrik Hitler, Bjorn the Slasher. Shall I go on? Now, your staff appear to have a somewhat lax attitude towards punctuality. There's been a funeral. A patient with a heart condition should be on a heart ward if you want to make money by stiffing bottom feeders, and I suggest you stick to Botox and breasts. Might rather suit you. So, your diagnosis would be... Well, I'm still working on his blood pressure. Your diagnosis, Mrs Beecham? Do you like me to repeat the question? Did Elliot lie? Consider that my resignation. Oh, really? Oh, don't. Oh, really? Me, you depressing giant Swede. <laughs> That's amazing. That's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> He's tall, that one, isn't he? Yes, he is one tall. On the left. Amazingly, yeah. because you're really very short. I'm tiny, <laughs> tiny little thing, very pretty hair. <laughs> um, how lovely. I mean, what a great part to play. That's mm. nice oh, it must be a joy. considered and quite cold. But I mean, he was brought in uh, at, at a high level, wasn't he, by the Department of, uh, of Health to make the cuts. He had yeah. to make cuts. Yeah. So it was never going to be a popularity contest. No, not really. I mean, he's lovely, really, as you can tell. He's a deeply twinkly, really, mm. even for a Swede. Yes. <laughs> you notice I don't do an accent. No, no, no. why don't you bother with that? I think because, uh, because he was educated here, so uh, I think the storyline basically was that uh, he, perhaps his, uh, his mum had died when he was very young and he was sent to public school in England and uh, therefore has become even more sort of punctilious and pedantic than the English. So did you... Did that's you, my uh, idea, uh, anyway. uh, When you got that f through, did you heave a sigh of relief thinking, oh, that's great, because I, then I don't have to... Well, when I was auditioning... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, got to burger, <laughs> Neil Pyre. Uh, but he was, uh, yeah, he was. I think, uh, I think he was originally called Alan Brown or something. And then I think maybe because I've done so much theatre, I speak in a rather sort of poncy way, and they thought well, we'd better make him a bit foreign then. <laughs> and um, and so he does have a habit of rubbing people up the wrong way. But as we're sort of um, getting to know him a bit more, and I know that the, with the arrival of Leila Ruas, we're going to sort of start discovering a little bit more to him. Maybe something that we might be able to find a little bit more redeeming, possibly? Oh, I don't know about that. Um, certainly having fun with Leila Ruas, she's delightful. Yeah. She's great fun. Uh, I think the idea is that uh, there, there has been a little bit of a past between them. Yeah. There might be a hint of unrequited love. Really? Probably well, from always... my side. <laughs> <laughs> but that always softens someone, doesn't it? I mean, that always softens somebody if you sort of see a bit more human side to them because at the moment it has all just sort of been work, work, work. It has, yeah. It's, it's, I tend to loom a lot behind people, if you pardon the expression, you know. They never quite know where I'm coming from. And uh, because he's the director of surgery for the whole thing, you see, so he doesn't have a particular ward or a particular place, although they yeah. have given me, which I don't think we've seen on the screen yet, but they've given me a, a very swanky office, which is huge. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, um, and and how, have the, how have the viewers taken to you? After you saw off Connie, we saw a bit of the dressing down, the magnificent dressing down that she gave mm. you there. Mm. Well, um, so far, uh, it, they've been people have been very nice. I mean, they haven't. They, they, they call me the scary doctor. Mm. Um, I don't know why. Um, but but mostly, what people say when in the supermarket or something is they come up to me and say, "Please, please, don't fire Mr. Hope." Oh. So, of Elliot Hope. So, so Paul Bradley be very pleased about very that. Very pleased. Yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> probably expecting a pay rise. Yeah, I'm sure he, all he of the cast one. are very nice for you for that, for that reason. <laughs> They're a lovely lot, actually, I must say. They really are friendly. Holby apparently has a reputation, if you're a guest artist, for, be for being a friendly show to work mm -hmm. on. And when, I'm in, when I started, I hadn't really done anything like that. And going into something which is so well-established mm. and so well-oiled, if you, again, if you pardon the expression, was... Mm. I was really frightened. I mean, I'm skinny, as you can see, and I lost nearly half a stone in the first Did seven weeks. Did you really? Weeks. Really? Well, it's filmed about four months in advance, so uh, I started in June uh, in the heat wave in all those posh suits and everything, and I was dripping with sweat and fear. Um, but they made me feel very welcome, and I settled in quite quickly. Well, it is difficult because you have to go in there as such an assured character. Mm. He had to know his place immediately. Mm. Everyone had to know who he was and what he was going to do. And inside, you're like this. Yes, I, I mean, the radio mics, you know, we've got them on here. I'm, I'm certain they could hear my heart going bang, 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 bang. <laughs> <laughs> Dripping slightly. But, and uh, you did actually go and do some work in a hospital watching different um, surgeries taking place, didn't you? To yeah. To kind of... What yeah. Was that like? it, it, well, I, I, 
thankfully realised how, how accurate Holby is, I think. Mm. I mean, obviously, it, it can't be 100%, I suppose, but they do work very, very hard on the programme to make, to make it as realistic as, as, as possible. And mm. um, it were, there, there's, there's so much hierarchy and I tribes in hospitals and things, you know, where people, um, people uh, are... Uh, the anaesthetist uh, sticks to themselves and this type of surgeon sticks with mm. their yes. group and all that sort of thing and apparently that's quite realistic so mm. i think always think the hardest thing about probably going into a medical drama is the language you have to use it must be like learning a foreign language all these sort of because you're just saying words that you don't necessarily know the meaning of half the time yes they gave me a really good one for for the audition which i still have sleepless nights about which is something about a pheochromocytoma which is a neuroendocrine tumor on the medulla of the adrenal glands and that was for your audition yes i see how that's i fluttered so that out <laughs> do you know what that's never going to leave you is it? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's so mean that's isn't brilliant it? and so uh, so t tonight um is uh, that there's a, a patient's condition deteriorates because of uh, leaking equipment should have been checked by Sasha, um, and uh, and it's and I think it's probably your intimidating uh, demeanour that prevents that patient from uh, from uh, taking legal action. Is that right? Probably yes. I probably loomed and uh, gave them a look, and uh, they quailed. I'd, yes, I think so. Mm. Sasha's great. He's a uh, Bob Barrett, lovely, and uh, Luke Roberts, of course. Tonight he's got his dilemma coming up about whether he's going to go to. Uh, go elsewhere, or whether he's going to stay with us, and yes. I give him—I think I give him a difficult decision to make. I think. No, really? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Not you, surely. Thank you so much for coming in, Guy. It's—it's uh, it's lovely to see you, and uh, and it's Holby. It's eight. It's tonight, and it's on BBC One. Thank you. Thank, thank you very thank you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Right, still to come today, Davina McCall, and an exclusive look at this year's fashion must-have. Gino's cooking as well. Oh yes, he is. Tuna pasta bake. It's after lovely. the news.